Virgo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another Love Bite. Virgo, let's see what's the message here for you today. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Virgo Spirit. Oh, Queen of Swords in reverse with the World card. King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Swords in reverse, my God, center of my spread. And the Three of Pentacles. Yep, somebody's giving up. Somebody is giving up. Somebody's cutting ties here. They're very angry, very bitter, shutting down a chapter because they feel that that person was just not stepping up or just brought in too much drama. They feel that person had control issues or maybe, I don't know, maybe was trying to put them in a third party or something. I have, I have, I have this person who's cutting off, moving on to maybe new love now exhausted and tired of a certain connection all right i could be wrong virgo excuse me i'm going to clarify all these cards of course but first let's start with some dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then i'll clarify these virgo and that person spirit virgo and that person this could also be this king of swords individual who's very upset and very angry because they do realize that they had love for their person which they never probably expressed and they are being cut out. Virgo and their person spirit. There's a lot of frustration here. Virgo and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Virgo and their person. All right. Good to go, Virgo. Let's start the reading. And uh, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, Virgo, I'm haunted by your presence. I see you in my dreams. I hear you telepathically. Every song I hear reminds me of you. I see your name everywhere and numbers that have special meaning to us. Everything reminds me of you and all I want is you. If this is happening to you, why do you stay at a distance? There's no escape for me when I try to move on and then I'm haunted even more. I'm willing to offer an olive branch for you, to you if I'm able to communicate with you. I would gladly accept an olive branch from you. I long for peace and I miss you. I'm sorry, I was so busy, I ignored you. I try to send my thoughts through songs. Can you hear me? You touched my soul even before I knew what physical touch felt like. It was a difficult decision for both of us. I want to come back to you. So it is this King of Cups. That's, that was my second thought and that was the one that was correct. So it is this King of Cups who is now feeling the love but they, I guess, never expressed it and they're very frustrated that they've been cut out. Okay, my heart is broken into... My, my heart breaks into pieces when I see you with someone else. There are no boundaries between us. We are connected. I enjoy dating and keeping things casual as I'm not wanting to settle down just yet. They were busy, they didn't have, uh, they didn't want commitment and they've been now cut out and now I guess they are very frustrated because, well, they feel that person is probably moving on. Though I haven't always said it with words, so th there was nothing said here either. Though I haven't always said it with words, there is love in the silence. Close your eyes and feel my presence. Be still and listen to me tell you that I love you. I just want to hold you now. It's been too long since you held me close. I'm aching for you. It irritates me that you mock my spirituality when I'm doing everything I can to learn and grow and become a better person. You tease me, you make fun of my beliefs. I find this really hurtful 
as you are unwilling to even talk with me about them. Being one with you intimately is home to me. I desire to be one with you and home with you. The thought of another one being with you kills me. Darling, you are mine. All right. Oh, I dropped one card. Let me just pick that up as well. I wish our situation was different. All right. So, Virgo, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start the reading. But first, an angel blessing card for you. Let's see what my angels want to bless my Virgo gang with today. Blessing, guidance, advice, or a message. Here it is. Child. Somebody wants a new beginning or they feel that person is moving on to a new beginning. I don't know. One of you is being gifted a brand new start here, Virgo. And maybe... Maybe that is what is frustrating this individual because they are sensing that. Okay, so let's start the reading. Uh, Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody feels they've been cut out. They, I mean, their person is upset with them, angry with them, has cut them out. They're feeling abandoned. They're feeling left out in the cold. They feel that their person will never, ever, ever allow them back in into their life. That the door is shut, the world card. What's the world card spirit? What's the world card? Yeah, they feel that the person has made a decision to move on. They feel that person is uh, moving on because maybe they never made an effort or maybe this person was um, maybe being a little selfish or just wanting things their way or no, not stepping up for a commitment or not doing right. It's making them feel very insecure now because they feel they're being cut out and they've lost the love of the pers their person. They feel that they took their person for granted and now their person no longer loves them and will never ever give them a second chance. They're very frustrated now, very upset, frustrated uh, because now they are seeing that what happiness they had. They, they feel now none of my dreams and wishes will come true. Now they are thinking of their happiness, the sun that the other person brought towards them in their life. Uh, so I guess that now they are angry. They are angry with themselves, I feel. Yeah, because they feel that person is uh, doing really well in their own life, no longer stressing over them and um, totally heal themselves and maybe, you know, moving on to new people or talking to new people or going off for partnerships with other people, uh, maybe heading off towards having their own happiness. It's making this individual feel very imbalanced now. They feel, they feel things for them are now going backwards instead of going forward and they've missed out on a chance of an ace of pentacles to grow something, to build something. They, this person is, has a lot of disappointment. Very, they are very disappointed I think at themselves because they are realizing that the, what they portrayed in the past was very selfish, very self-centered, very arrogant or whatever they were doing, not stepping up and all that came to light. And they feel that their person knows the truth about them now, will never forgive them and is angry with them, and will, has cut them out of their life and will never ever ever trust them again. I think somebody is very lonely now but also recognizing that it's because of their own foolish choices and foolish mistakes. Maybe this person was a player or, you know, more concerned with sex and passion and, you know, not taking responsibility of the connection. Um, now they are feeling the lack of love in their life because I have a feeling they feel that their person is moving on. Uh, what's the Knight of Cups spirit? Yeah, they feel that person has strong boundaries up now. Even if I try and get in touch with them, like this person is saying, even if I want to talk to them, I'm sure they'll push me away. They have strong boundaries up. I don't know how to get to them. So it's like they're telling themselves, I'm sure they, I'm sure they found an, an, a better offer. Or uh, it's almost like this person is trying to justify their own behavior to themselves. It's like the reason why the other person doesn't want them in their life is because I'm sure they, 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 are, they, are, they are now, you know, doing stuff behind my back or they have a new um, offer from somebody else or, yeah, they feel the, the reason why the other person is, has cut them out or is in, is in conflict with them is because they found 
they found somebody else and they don't want to waste any time looking at the past and somewhere this person feels that the other person is exhausted of them tired of them and has given up so i think this person is trying to justify to themselves the reason why they don't want me of course they know and they know their own faults but they also scared that you know i'm sure they they are with someone else and that's the reason yeah they feel that in their insecurity in their insecurity i think this person is trying to convince themselves that the reason the other person has chosen another direction is because i'm sure they've got a better offer they've they've had a brand new beginning the talking to somebody else uh tell me about the king of cups spirit why is this the overall energy and they could be right <laughs> i'm not saying they're not they're wrong they could be right i mean they are, they themselves know what they did wrong and if they are assuming the other person has a better offer that's the reason the, the other person has cut them out they could be right okay so king of cups why you the overall energy for virgo's reading yeah okay so something came out about this king of cups in the past and that's why they were probably blowing hot and cold or not opening up and now they feel that they the, even the even an apology is not going to cut it even if they come and apologize for their bad mistakes it's not going to cut it especially now that they're seeing their person moving forward looking really good very independent very confident shining bright uh, it's been a blow to their ego i think i mean this person really thought they were the cat's whiskers maybe at one time but right now this person could be going through a tower that's what i have for you virgo till next time then love and light take care namaste